Mind Control, the Key to Evangelization of the World? Pope John Paul II once said, Since a contemplative life belongs to the fullness of the Church's presence, let it be put into effect everywhere. Religious institutes of the contemplative and of the active life have so far played and still do play the main role in the evangelization of the world. Amazingly, it appears that the late Pope John Paul's dream is coming true, for the world is certainly being evangelized. Today, many institutes teach contemplative prayer and spirituality to thousands of people every year. Many of them attended and applauded by Christians and leaders of all Protestant denominations, including Seventh-day Adventists. But is this the kind of evangelization we need? We are told, little by little, Satan has prepared the way for his masterpiece of deception in the development of spiritualism. Except those who are kept by the power of God through faith in his word, the whole world will be swept into the ranks of this delusion. During the entire history of the great controversy, Satan's greatest success has always been directly related to his ability to control the minds of those he ensnares without their awareness. This is the secret of his success. When he can deceive those under his power into believing that God is working for them, when in truth it is he, Satan, he has won the day. This is the fundamental characteristic of the Omega apostasy and is likely the reason it caused Ellen White to tremble when she beheld it. Many leaders in God's remnant church were carrying on what they perceived as the work of God while in fact they were being directed to the prince of evil. The more closely Satan can appear Christ-like in both his behavior and his use of the supernatural, the greater is his ability to deceive. Can you see how Satan might be successful in the future in getting many professing Christians to unite and promote a unified world religion or a unified day of worship, thinking they are doing God's service and being willing to annihilate those who refuse to embrace their new one world religion or chosen style of worship? See 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. Remember, it's all about mind control, and Satan is on it. He knows what he's doing, but do we? In his book, Revive Us Again, Mark Finley writes, Satan's concern in the last days is not the unsaved world. He already has them in his grasp. His concern is Christians. By bringing deceptions into the church, he will mislead millions and it's beginning to happen before our very eyes. Lord, have mercy on us. We've barely touched the surface of this gigantic iceberg that is only getting bigger all the time. But there are several more prayer disciplines that we need to address briefly while we are on this topic.